Okay, a little bit of breaking news, if you can call it that. Uh, A-Rod and uh, Mark Laurie have fired back at uh, current majority owner of the Minnesota Timberwolves, one Glenn Taylor. Look, I have to say this whole story is like is being inside the mind of Bill Walton. You know, it's a long, strange journey, if you know what I mean. Okay, here's the fire back. Uh, this is from Mark Laurie. It's just a matter of time and how much pain Glenn wants to put the fans, the players, the town, and the community through. It's his choice. It didn't have to be this way, said Mark Laurie. Now, uh, inside what's actually happening, a little bit of follow-up from our report earlier in the day. Now, the Carlisle Group had uh, put up $300 million. They pulled the plug on that financing about two months ago, which left uh, Mark Laurie and Alex Rodriguez scrambling for additional financing. Apparently, they actually did find that financing a few weeks back through one Dial Capital Partners Group. Uh, they apparently ponied in $300 million, giving the uh, group led by Mark Laurie and Alex Rodriguez enough cash to make that final $600 million payment. They submitted the paperwork, at least according to Mark Laurie and Alex Rodriguez, about a week and a half ago to the National Basketball Association for approval. This is where we're at at this point. Look, at the end of the day, uh, uh, Alex Rodriguez Mark Laurie and the group were actually getting an unbelievably big steal in their purchase price of the Minnesota Timberwolves for just $1.5 billion. Actually, Sportico has it valued at $2.9 billion. Look, a super, 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 super rich person uh, could have jumped in and paid anywhere from $2.5 to four billion and wrote a single check. Look, this is an absolute steal if the uh, Lori and Alex Rodriguez group are able to actually get this thing pulled off. Mm -hmm.